Hi everyone, welcome to MySpace on the Homeschool Hub and today we're going to be doing an experiment on rockets. You ready to rocket? What we're going to do is talk about how rockets fly but also the build up of pressure that's needed to actually get them to fly and where else in nature we can see that. And the good thing about today is that everything you see you're probably going to be able to try a version of yourself at home. We are talking about rockets and pressure and how they fly and that build up of pressure and how astronauts are often sitting on top of a bomb that's directed in a particular direction to make them go in the opposite direction. Newton's third law of motion. For every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. If fire goes down rocket goes up and what we're talking about is this build up of pressure and how we can create that uh, and I, what I thought I might do is just to show you how that can happen and how we can build an experiment about it. So what I have here is some water in a jar but also just a effervescent tablet I and mean, an effervescent tablet is one that fizzes and usually gives off carbon dioxide. If I put this vitamin tablet in here you'll see it sits in it and it starts fizzing away giving off gas doesn't seem that big of a deal and quite boring but we're gonna make things more exciting if I put my hand on top of this eventually the pressure would build up and I would feel an upward push from the amount of air that's being released into that space above the liquid but it's a large space and that's not necessarily what we want to look at we want to look at containing that pressure and that build up into a, a catastrophic <laughs> push up and away and this is exactly what happens if you look at the shape of this container it's quite like a volcano kind of shape and this is what happens in volcanic eruptions. You'll have a, a buildup of pressure underground, a buildup and a buildup. And over time, this buildup of pressure will eventually potentially cause a volcano to erupt and send stuff spraying up into the air. So it is something that happens in nature, but also something that we've tried to copy in rockets to mimic the same science that happens there so that we can use it to go to the moon, go to space. More importantly, we want to get to the ISS and say hello to all the astronauts, or be astronauts ourselves. So let's mimic that and see what happens. So what we have, again, is we're going to use the same vitamin tablets, and we have little film canisters that are here beside me that I've collected. Some of you out there who are slightly older may recognize these. These are what we used to keep our pictures in before camera phones and big hard drives came along. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill them up with a little bit of water like we had in that and put half a tablet into them. Now, the good way to do a comparative test within science is to, you know, take one variable, change one thing and compare that to another thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the same experiment effectively twice, but five times twice. So there's going to be five uh, film canisters with 25 milliliters of water and there's going to be five film canisters with 20 milliliters of water and we're going to see if there's a temperature difference when that top will pop off. So how do we do that? We get a container with graduations on it, with measurements on it. We go down nice and low, we at the same level as the reading, the graduation, look where it goes from 5 to 10 to 15 to 20 and when the water at bottom of the water comes up to that level you know that you've got 20 milliliters in that and you can put that inside of your film canister and you know that you've got exactly 20 milliliters in that. So what we're going to do now, we pour in from 5 to 10 to 15 to 20 to 25 milliliters of water. So the first five film canisters, I put 20 milliliters and 25 milliliters of water into the other five and it is ready to go. So what we are going to do now is we're going to test and see, put a half a tablet into each of these and see when they pop open so we can figure out the buildup of pressure. Now, just in case one of the lids comes off, I'm going to put on safety goggles, which of course match my efforts because of course, why not? So what we're going to do now is we're going to try and put a half a tablet into each of these and see if the lid will pop off and we can gauge how, how big the pressure build up is if it's big enough to even knock it off. So, are we ready? This is going to be exciting and awesome, totally. So, I'm going to put in tablets, 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 and I'm going to put on lids, I'm going to put on lids, I'm going to put on, oh no, lids, oh this is a bit panicky, hold on, I've totally nailed this, I, I know what I'm doing. Net lids. Ah, no, okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got first five, 
So I've started off with the ones with 25 milliliters. I've put them in, they're sitting there. Now, now what I didn't do, what did I not do? Ah, I didn't start at top. See, this is where I need your help from home. I didn't start all of these at the same time. How could I create a mechanism where I could start all of these at the same time? Yeah. Okay, so I've got all my 10, I think. I've got a hain, a do, a three, a car, a kuig, a a shock, a hooked, a ne, a de. Okay, so we've got 10 of them. One is leaking. Okay, so one's failing. So this is grand. We're seeing different amounts of liquid. The fizz is building up inside of these. What's gonna happen is eventually one of them is gonna pop open. And when one of them pops open, that'll be give us an indication of how long, how much pressure is built up and what kind of strength these lids have on top of them, but also the amount of pressure that's built up, the amount of carbon dioxide that's been given off. Um, I think this has worked. Totally should work. Well, this is the experiment. I suppose we kind of sit here and wait. I mean, like, if you got five minutes to kill, I mean... <laughs> Wasn't necessarily expecting that to be as no, quick as that. So, a couple of things have happened. It's a difference maybe in the amount of water and air, because that one went first, but all of those were filled up before those. Ah, 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 what, why do I do this? Um, I'm glad it works, actually, goggles, but this is what science is. Uh, trying things. I needed to do a better job of setting up with... The measurement was good, but I didn't start a stopwatch. That's what I need you guys to send in to us. How could I have made this experiment better? What could I have used? Uh, stop! Oh, oh. Boy! So what we're seeing here is that the fizz given off from the tablets contained in the film canister eventually builds up and it catastrophically blows off the top. But because it's turned upside down, it fires the container up into the air. Pretty cool, huh? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna back away slowly. I think this last one, I think this one leaked. That one, okay, that one. That one's not gonna. <laughs> Send us in your versions of this. What have you done? How could we have made this experiment better? Rte.ie forward slash learn. What could possibly go wrong?